Let's try that again. Uh, at least that was some progress there. I saw a little bit more of that section. I saw the complete section. But... I failed. So let's do it. Hands a little tired. That was too close for comfort. my hand a little bit of rest here. No, no chances. Just use a bomb. All right, first section done. wait for an opening and rush past this part there's my opening there's the rush yeah that was my last life bell so I, I, I had to start over but it's okay I uh, I know that level now I'm pretty confident I could beat it and I know all these levels these these aren't that bad That was the hardest part of this section. Hand is killing me. And we're back at the beginning, Morn. So I gotta do it all over again. But I actually did beat the two hardest mini sections already, so. I'll get there again. Nice. Mephisto done without dying.
I don't need to mash so hard on these levels, especially now that I have power-ups. So I'm trying to take it easy. Save myself for that final stage again. Although you don't really need to mash when you have power-ups. Which is pretty nice. Yeah, I'm definitely going to beat this tonight. Um, I have work tomorrow, but from home. So I'm just going to keep playing until I beat it. I think this is the run, honestly. pain in the butt section outside of the uh, later levels of course Yeah, I got these levels pretty memorized. I could still slip up and make mistakes. Which is not the end of the world. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, honestly, I haven't noticed a significant increase in speed, even with those speed ups. That part is always scary. So yeah, I, maybe I should just stay away from the speed ups altogether. I mean, the fact that I didn't know what they were until recently says a lot. I'm staying back because of the pumpkins. I think that's it, but I'm not positive, so I'm still going to stay a little up here. I didn't even think about that, Morn. Could be. This is a really easy section with the power-ups.
Hey, MK, how's it going? I guess that's why I didn't notice it, um, because I always have one. Because you usually find those pretty early. Stick on Bret Hart again. I'm doing well. How was your holiday? Oh, nice. I never saw the Star Wars Holiday Special. I just watched um, the original trilogy again in preparation for uh, the new movie. I'm not a huge Star Wars guy, but I'm curious enough to want to see the new movie. I was kind of annoyed though, the version of Star Wars I watched had all the stupid changes in it. And I just wanted to watch like the original. But whatever. It's not like it ruined the movie completely for me. I haven't seen those movies since I was a kid. So it was fun rewatching them. Some of it holds up, some of it does not. Yeah, that is that is pretty awesome. Especially considering like that was 1977. Welcome back, Matt. A lot of people aren't fans of the Ewoks. I am a fan of the Ewoks. I am pro Ewok. I think Jedi holds up just fine. Now that Disney owns Star Wars, oh, what did I do? Ah, uh, no big deal. I can get past, past this without power-ups. Uh, now that Disney owns Star Wars, maybe we'll see a Silver Surfer cameo. I highly doubt it, but that would be amazing and fantastic. I, nope, wrong way. I know there's an area where I can get a power up. It's right here, it looks like. And I gotta go for it. I think that's another power up I missed. Whatever. Hey, Pazzy. Welcome. I died on the last level before. I'm 
pretty sure I'm gonna beat it soon. How was your holiday, Pazzy? Hopefully you're good. Oh, cool. There's a straw poll for Matt. Let me take a look at this before I continue. My vote has been cast, and I seem to be in the majority there. Yeah, it, it's definitely uh, easier with practice, Pazzy. It's all memorization. It's really not as hard as people say. Like, I don't consider myself good at games, and I don't find this too difficult. Um, it's definitely frustrating. You'll definitely die a lot, but once you play through the levels twice, you should have it pretty well figured. It's just one hit death, and that's going to be frustrating. Oh my god, that's the worst. The boss was dead, I let go of the controller, and I died. Sure, more. I'd appreciate that. So this is going to be hard now with no power-ups. I didn't think that thing can spawn after the boss died. But now I know. I'm gonna stay down here. Yeah, it's spawned again. Oh uh, no, I I left Pazzy. Um, not because of any ill will or anything, just because I felt bad. I do not have a lot of free time, and they're trying to do like 24/7. And I felt bad asking people to cover for me whenever I can't stream, so I I decided to leave. Uh, I didn't think it was fair to the other guys. I didn't feel like I was carrying my weight. But uh, it was there was no drama involved or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, for um, a couple of weeks, I people were covering for me, and then I was like, this, you know, this isn't fair to them. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll, I'm still in that channel from time to time. And maybe one day I'll be back, if they'll have me, we'll see. That was close. Alright, this looks like a real run again. Only easy levels left. Uh, except for the final level, of course.
That's an understandable snake, and I do appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, I work full time and I have a newborn and it was just too much. And I felt like I was never streaming on my own channel as well. So I I didn't think it was a good idea for me to stay. But like I was honored to be asked to join and stuff and I wish them all well. Oh, Fiesel was today. Okay. Hold on. I will read that in a second. Kid Retro takes a lot of tokens. That is definitely true, Bacon. I was trying to do uh, different stuff on there. Like I was going to go through a bunch of Turbo Graphics 16 games and stuff. So it's a little disappointing that uh, I didn't have the time. But I will, uh, maybe I'll make an effort to add Turbo Graphics 16 games to the list here. I do have an EverDrive. Yeah, I feel like, um, there's a significant difference in um, people enjoy watching speed runs and people enjoy watching casual runs. There's some crossover there, but some people um, can't stand watching one or the other. I don't mind watching speedruns. I hate speedrunning myself. Um, I hate looking behind the curtain, so to speak. Um, I tried to speedrun one or two games back in the day, and I felt like it ruined the game for me. I could never play it casually again, and I just didn't enjoy it. Yeah, and there's casual on that channel as well. I wasn't... They did, um... They wanted a mix of both, so... A bunch of streamers on there I followed before the channel started anyway, so... I like a lot of the people there. Like I said, no drama just a matter of time At this stage I'd rather when I do have time to stream I'd rather just stream on my own channel yeah I don't mind watching other speedrun I, I find that interesting uh, depending on the game But when you break down a game yourself, you just, you can't enjoy it anymore, I feel like. You can't enjoy it on the same level, at least. Yeah, exactly, Morn. I, I just wasn't having fun with it. And I also feel like... I don't know, um, for me, like, I didn't feel like I was accomplishing anything. Like, what's the point of using save states or resetting a game constantly, I, I didn't feel like I was doing anything that anyone else could do. I'm not talking about other speedrunners here, I'm talking about me.
some people love uh, breaking down games like that and that's cool like I said I enjoy watching that from time to time I was not ready for that Exactly, MK, exactly. Oh, I know Guacamole. That game's pretty cool. I really enjoy watching uh, speedruns of beat-em-ups. Some of the gimmicks used, I think it's really interesting, I don't know. If you go to this corner here, that red thing doesn't shoot at you, which makes it much easier. Whoa. Hey, it's Oso. How's it going? Happy holidays to you. Yeah, I'm a big fan of blind runs. Um, that's pretty much what I do here, but I also love watching people play blind runs. It's, it's fun seeing people react differently uh, to certain situations. But I, at the same time, I could also get enjoyment out of watching someone who knows the game inside and out try and run it perfectly. See, I'm ignoring most of the power-ups because uh, I think I'm maxed out. Right. Final section. Hey, Tech, how's it going? Yeah, this uh, was a blind run when I started. I guess I can't call it one anymore, although I still haven't beaten it. I was pretty hyped when I beat this for the first time. I uh, those sections for the first time because I thought that was the end of the game but I should have known that there's this level oh nice monkey islands a fun game I hope to check some of that out Pazzy Yeah, I try my best not to get mad. Lately, I have noticed that I've been getting <laughs> more angry than I should. But I, I hear what you're saying more, and I'm not a big fan of uh, huge raging. I tend to get mad at myself 
for stupid mistakes. And I make a lot of stupid mistakes. This is very good right now. This is what I want. Yeah, yeah, I don't... I try not to do that. Because if I wasn't having fun, then I wouldn't be playing. Screw that part. Didn't want to deal with it. is all much easier with these power-ups. I might waste a bomb here. Yes. Progress. This is the furthest I've ever been. And I apologize that I am not keeping up with chat as much as I normally do. This game is uh, pretty tough to look at chat at the same time. So here we go. I've never seen this area. I can shoot through this, so I'm assuming I could touch that. Yes, cool. I can touch that. So if your bullets go through something, that means you can touch it. And I cannot go through these spikes. This is going to be fun. I kind of like this level. Oh, I can't go through the green, though. No. This would be hard without the power-ups that I have. I can go through this. This level's kind of crazy with the mouths and stuff. Oh, can I touch the face? Yes. Got scared for a second. I didn't think I was going to make it through there. Holy crap. Holy crap. Yes. Oh man, watch out for those bubbles. Oh! Shoot sideways here. Nice, that was not a bad section. That was definitely a bit prickly there, Servo. <sighs> okay, so I think this is it. I think this is the final area, which is usually just a boss area. I can go through those trees, that's nice. I'm assuming the boss will be Galactus. Although, currently, I'm still working for Galactus, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Man, it 
Thank God I have these power-ups. This would be really hard without these power-ups. Uh-oh, what's this? I'm gonna take this top route here. Holy crap, that was scary. Whoa, what are these elephants? No! That could be the end of the run, folks. One death right there could mean the end. So no power-ups now. Let's see what we got. Uh, it's gonna be tough to kill these guys now, unless I mash really well. You know what? I'm just gonna use a bomb. Forgot about them. This is a pretty long boss fight level. Usually the boss comes up pretty quickly. And I've yet to see him. Or it. I saved the bomb that time. There's two sets of them. God damn it. Man, if I didn't have that hit, if I had those power-ups. Those caterpillars, too fast for me. I never thought I would say that. Captain Crunch. Alright, watch out for the caterpillars, right? Stay up top. Okay, now uh, let's figure out this water thing. Zoom? No! So I have to go in between the big splash and the little splash. Caterpillar is coming.
All right, that was tough. Man, this level's long. What do we got now? This looks like the boss fight. And I don't know who this is. That was stupid. <sighs> Man, I think that was the final boss. And that is definitely not Galactus. He didn't seem too tough. I was overthinking it and I tried to use a bomb there. Uh, yeah, I restarted every time. I haven't gotten a single password, so... Oh, I, yeah, yeah, I think there are passwords, but, like, it's a cheat code kind of thing. Somebody was mentioning that before. Like, if there was a normal password system, I, I'd be okay with that, but... If it involves typing in some kind of code, I, I, I don't count that. Now I'm just forgetting things. I haven't used any continues yet, so we're, we're looking pretty good. Um, hopefully I could do it sooner rather than later, but... Alright. Whew, my hand is killing me. God does not want to die and he's finally dead is there another section another boss 
Is that all she wrote? Congratulations, the device piece has been surrendered. We finally built our cappuccino maker. I feel like we would have to fight Galactus though. Your quest is at an end, Surfer. The forces of magic have been defeated. Now the device is mine. Yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna fight Galactus here. No, the device is too dangerous. I will take it to a safe place. Never shall it fall into the wrong hands. The end. Yes! That is the end. Whew! That was fun. An hour under my prediction. An hour over my prediction, I should say. Yeah, this game is definitely not as hard as people say. If I beat it, anyone can. You just need to memorize the levels, pretty much. I, I do not feel like that's one of the hardest games on Nintendo. I wouldn't even put it in the top five hardest games that I played on my stream. Hey, Foobs, how's it going? Yeah, most of the bosses were pretty easy. Um, which is, I guess, traditional of shooters. The levels are harder than the bosses. But good stuff. Let's watch the credits. Hey, there's a password there. Tim Fallen Music, he killed it. KCHDR4. Let's raffle it up. Let's put in my, uh, funny is that's not even my highest score there we go silver surfer good stuff I definitely recommend playing this game do not be afraid of it it's not hard yeah buddy